Hi, my name is Alan with Earthglow Inc. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a little trick on how to unmold a concrete candle vessel from the Amazon mold. Now, this is a very common mold that many candle makers use who make can concrete candles. And it, for good reason, uh, it's very easy to find. It's right on Amazon and you can have it to your home within two days and it's very inexpensive. Uh, this mold, however, was designed for use with resin projects uh, rather than concrete. So there are a few things to keep in mind when using this on a concrete candle project. Now, what you'll need for this project is simply your Amazon mold, an X-Acto knife, and a cutting board. Now typically the challenge with these molds is people will have their candle ready to unmold and they'll get it kind of stuck here on this upper lip as they're trying to pull the mold off. And as you can see, the, that actually caused my candle vessel in this example to break. Um, I was trying to get the mold off and it just kind of gets stuck and there's too much pressure on the concrete and it just ends up breaking. So I'm going to show you how to prevent this and how to have much greater ease unmolding your concrete candle vessel with the Amazon mold. So I'm just going to peel this back a little ways and I found that it does actually help to have a physical uh, candle uh, vessel curing inside the concrete mold as I'm doing this. And I'm just gonna kind of go around the vessel with my X-Acto knife and just cut the rim of this off. But being sure not to go too far because I wanna leave the top part of the mold intact here. So I'm just working my way around and uh, just kind of going in straight strips. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I unmold my concrete candle vessel from the Amazon mold. So I usually start by taking both my hands over the top of it and kind of with the edge of my palm in one swoop like that. Now let me show this one more time. I'm gonna pull it all the way back up so I can try to show it again, maybe from a different angle. Okay, so again, I'm taking both my palms over the edge of this lip and then in a single swoop, I'm getting it like that. Flipping it over, and now there's no longer a ridge there, so I can easily just work the silicone mold over the top of that. And now we're on the home stretch. Just kind of pull up and then take it and twist, and that's all there is to it. Now, once I have my concrete candle vessel unmolded, I'm going to wait about three days for this concrete to fully cure before I apply uh, my sealant. Now that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. And if you did find this video helpful, uh, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. Um, it really helps my channel and it also helps my videos to appear uh, in your newsfeed. If you do run into any issues when trying this, please feel free to send me a message and I will do my very best to help. Thank you for watching and happy making.